Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 9 of the Banjo-Tooie 100% speedrun tutorial. This is the final part, I'm going to cover the last level of the run, Renty Industries. And then after this, you are done. I've learned the entire 100% run and can start doing uh, can start doing runs for yourself if this is your first time learning. So, after, in the last part we covered Cloud Cuckoo Land, and at the very end we do the B mini game and save and quit out. When you load up your file, instead of going to the silo, we're actually going to go into Spiral Mountain. Do not forget this, uh, <laughs> very important to come back here. Now that we have a uh, Talon Torpedo, we can go in this water, dive here, and Talon Torpedo this door for a Jinjo, and swim onto the surface and jump flutter. Uh, and you want to stand around on this, like where the slope meets the flat ground. Anywhere around here is fine. Uh, if you have a clockwork left, go into first person. And you want to aim like this black line here. You want to aim so the bottom right uh, of the reticle is touching the part where it goes from flat to up left, so around here to hit the Cheeto page and explode. If you don't have a clockwork after CCL, if you've wasted too many uh, and you have none, just come up here and use the spring pad like that. Oops, don't build drill. You want to actually hold Z while charging so you can, uh, you won't have a, you can't build drill like that. Um, it only loses like a second to get this without a clockwork, so it really doesn't matter. Even if you have one, if you don't feel confident in the shot, just use the spring pad. Whoops. And then after you get that, uh, you want to jump over this gap. Don't land in the water like I did. Fungo is still chilling here. Pass by him and leave Spiral Mountain. My I say count is a little bit low, but that's okay. You can always use other eggs for testers, but you go in the silo, warp to wasteland. Refill from jam jars for one last time. We don't actually need all of these eggs, so you're it's fine to miss a few shots. I think you end, if you get every shot, you end with three clockworks at the end of GI, something like that. But anyway, come over here, get these uh, springy shoes, and around this like light green circle, use the shoes, land up here, and enter Quagmire. You don't want to be too close to the wall, you can get stuck on the wall trying to get up, so just be aware of that. You enter Quagmire. Granny Industries is over there, but if you don't feel confident that you can get through without soft locking or failing, there's a trick at the end of the run that if you fail, it's faster to save and quit and come back here. If you don't feel confident with that trick, take the silo here. It loses very little time, but it is slower to get. You want to be on Ice Eggs entering GI. Now, what we're going to do is a trick called break-in. Normally, you're supposed to take the train into GI, but that is incredibly slow. However, up at that window, we can do a clockwork warp using this worker here to break in to the factory in front of us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run up, cancel Talon Trot, and Poopa Egg behind me once he aggros me, and he'll have his wrench... Um, angled back trying to hit us. I'm then gonna move out of the way a bit to the right and aim, have my cursor at the treble clef to shoot a clockwork uh, up there and then I'm gonna get against the this side of the wall over on my current left and hold R and face back towards the front of the level. You have to do this or this guy will not be loaded and you won't get hit and the warp will not work. When Once you're facing uh, the camera back, he's going to break out of the ice, which is random, so you have to react to this. Once he breaks out, 
the screen will shake and then wait for it to stop shaking and then enter the loading zone after about a second after the screen stops shaking. Just a little brief pause and then you enter the loading zone with the clockwork. And if you do all that right, uh, the trick should work. I'm gonna reload so he resets his position and demonstrate it. This is quite a difficult and different clockwork warp, so definitely practice this one a lot. But this is what it should look like. If he notices you, cancel town trot, loop an ice egg. I like to stand right here, break the window, aim at the treble, shoot a clockwork, hold R, turn around, wait till he breaks out, green will shake, wait about a second, enter the loading zone, boom. I entered a little bit late, I probably should have entered a bit earlier, but it still worked. And you will be up at this loading zone with uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Um, if you messed up and you've taken too much damage, you'll die when you fall down here. Uh, I think if you have less than 4 health, you'll die. I'm at 5, I'm gonna see how much I take here. So do a big jump off this platform, holding forward, and press B to talk to Jam Jars. Yeah, so you take 3. So if you have 4 or 5 health, do that. If not, just flutter out of the jump uh, when you're near the end to learn. Um, Cloud Clamber Boots. Jump up here and split up. These boots let, let us climb up walls, and we're gonna use them right now. Take Kazooie over to the boots. While still on Clockworks, jump up this wall, climb up, jump off, press B to cancel the claw clamors. And you want to use this spring pad on the inside, not the other one. Jump down, then hold upright, and flutter onto this platform. There are egg nests there if you need them. Uh, if you wasted a bunch of eggs on break-in, or you want or your grenade or ice egg count is low, you can grab these. Uh, it's a little slow, but they're there. Now, we're, that uh, jiggy you saw when we broke into the factory, we're gonna shoot clockwork at it from here. So there's like these black lines on this pipe. Just stand behind this black line, C up, and aim the reticle so that the, there's like a little bit of a gap between the lamp and the bottom line so like here is like the upper limit but it's better to have more of a gap like this than just fire to break explode the clockwork and now we're going to use the spring pads straight up go to floor two go up this slope and get this globo around this pipe tag this war pad don't forget that I want to be on grenade eggs entering here. Shoot a grenade egg at this grate. Uh, try not to get hit there. If you do, just be careful in this room. We wait until this explosion's gone to not get hit. Uh, you don't want to get hit there anyway, but definitely be more careful if you take a damage. Switch to clockworks after they do that shot. Get this note and do a jump, wing whack, flutter, stand around here from this bolt uh, on this pipe. Just stand in front of it against this ledge and there's a Cheeto page right there. So what we're gonna do is a little gap just down here. You can see the Cheeto page rotating through this gap. We're just gonna aim at the gap and you can aim just slightly down and shoot a clockwork without testers. But there's a very consistent fast way to do this. If you flick the stick like this, enough that it moves but the camera doesn't shift at all and then you wait until it comes back to the position it started in right away it won't actually be in that position and it's just low enough to go through this gap we can just flick the stick down wait for the reticle to come back and then press c to fire like that to get the cheeto page it's extremely easy and very fast oh after that cheeto page get this note land on this pipe around uh, around between this, like these bolts and these bolts, like anywhere around here is fine. Shoot the clockwork uh, so that the reticle is quite a bit above the Jinjo's head. Hold forward to make sure you get it and run off the platform for the note and explode. 
I'll jump over here, cut this corner, and learn uh, Leg Spring. This lets us do a backflip as Solo Kazooie, which we're going to use right away. Fall off this platform, flutter to not take damage. There'll be a note nest here. You want to take a damage off this tin top. Ideally, you get an electrifying hit so you can move during it towards that second note. If not, it's fine. Just take the damage. You want to be on grenade eggs. Jump on this box. Legs spring up, which is just ZA like a backflip. And then jump flutter across the gap. Run through this tunnel, hit this switch, and death rope with a grenade. When you respawn, hold down left and see right, run over here, legs spring up. We're gonna flutter, uh, wing whack, glide, reset to get these notes here, and fall down, enter the train station. There's two notes on whoops, two notes on boxes over here. Get these on the way into the train station. You wanna do you wanna run past the shadow, do a leg spring, and then flutter onto this platform. And like just past this light around where like these bolts are, is where you're gonna wanna leg spring off the platform for this honeycomb that's up here. You're gonna leg spring, flutter at the peak. And then do a wing whack soon enough that you don't lose height, and the wing whack is gonna hit the honeycomb. Um, wait for the wing whack to end, and when you fall, hold glide just for a, uh, like a half a second in order to not take fall damage. And you're gonna flutter and continue on back through the train station. So it should look like this leg spring off the edge. If you're too low, just do this and go back. You don't want to go too far off the ledge like I did. So start the leg spring farther back to keep your height like that. Hold Z. Flutter to not take fall damage. Some leg springs you want to go off the edge. That one you don't. So start it from a little farther back than you think. Get that last note on the way out. And we're going to go to the workers quarters over here. While still on grenade eggs. In front of this door and blow it up. Run up to Lago, skip this text, shoot another grenade. This looks scary, but if you just don't move and then shoot the grenade, it will hit Lago and knock you back without taking damage. Then you can skip this next text box, get the Cheeto page, and shoot one more grenade to death warp. If you're at one health entering this room, just be careful because... You're gonna have to shoot the door from far away and avoid the tin tops uh, as you run up to Lago, so just be aware of that. But once you're done, take Kazooie over here to this switch. We're gonna open the front door now. Then take Banjo to the other switch. need this door open because we're gonna go get a battery as banjo that we can't skip so once the door is open exit the factory and you're gonna do double jumps up this ladder take a hit off the battery which will stun him for a little bit and then pack whack uh, be careful, even when he's stunned, if you jump on top of him, you can get a damage and you will die, so just be careful of that. Taxi pack the battery, and jump off the ledge from up here to land in the purple swamp, and if you do it, uh, from high up enough, then you will take fall damage instead of a slow, pulling you down damage. If this worker is close by, you can use him as well, but if you don't see him, just do this, like so. Hold down right and R to turn the camera, and we're gonna go to the trash compactor now. We're supposed to use snooze pack for this, but with Banjo's double jump, we can uh, just jump over the gaps. So I'll do a double jump over here. You actually can go straight forward, you don't need the eggs. If you do need the eggs, go over to the side a little bit, but you shouldn't need them. 
So for this timing, you're gonna wait till he swings the bag around twice, like one, two, and then do the jump. I didn't uh, press B late enough. You wanna wait till you're like falling down and then do the pack whack. So, oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> didn't even get a jump there. Let me go try that again. Should have explained it before I attempted it, so I was uh, more focused on doing it. That was uh, my bad there. So big jump, wait till you fall, swing the bag twice. Jump out of it, just do it again. Like so, and hit the switch. You can take a hit on the way back if you didn't get hit, otherwise do it the same trick over this crusher. While you have time, just run along here, double jump in here, and use the uh, conveyor to run into the trash compactor to death warp. There's a terrible showing uh, right there, that's my bad, but once you're done, hold up left, double jump into this alcove here, double jump on top of the toxic waste plant. Right here, release the battery. Hatch will open and Banjo will fall in and take the loading zone. Now we're going to learn the last move of the run, which we'll never use, called Snooze Pack. Z and C right is used for this move and it uh, heals you. If you do need to use it, you can, but you shouldn't have to. After you learn it, um, there's a pipe down there and on the corner of the pipe, the loading zone actually extends like out and you can barely hit it as Banjo. This is the loading zone that the oil drill jiggy goes through, which will take you to Hailfire Peaks. So we're gonna go back for that. And there's also a few other things we never did in Hailfire that is just convenient to do now. So for this, you're gonna wanna fall off I'll jump off the ledge and do a double jump, and you can take a damage on the pipe as you slide off. If you do it really well, you can get in the loading zone on the slide off. If not, you can do a jump into the corner, and if that is too hard, which is a little finicky, you can just do the run off. You can just run off the top of the pipe with a slight angle, and you'll hit it very easily that way. So what I mean is, you can do that, and if you you can hit the loading zone like that. Um, kind of tricky, but you can also jump at the pipe like that to hit it. Um, I'm gonna warp back to. I'm gonna warp back to um, toxic waste and show the last way, which in my opinion is the easiest and most consistent. If you can't get the jump so if you can't get the jump come on top of the pipe and just have a little bit of an angle left and just run straight for it and you'll hit it easily once you get it turn around and enter shack pack and enter this loading zone exit shack pack and get the jiggy and turn around this is the oil drill jiggy. Do not forget this one. I've seen it a million times. I've done it myself. It's very easy to miss. Once you get that, run off the edge about here. Jump. Double jump. Avoid fall damage. I have the camera the way I'm facing it so it's like you're running down to reduce lag. And take the warp pad to the lower icy side. Hold left, turn the camera with C left, like this, jump down here, avoid that guy, and now we're going to pick up Saberman, which we skipped earlier. The taxi pack Saberman, turn around, Go back to the warp pad, Just up the slope. Face this way to reduce lag on the warp pad and warp to uh, lower uh, lower fireside, which is the first option. Just mash A for it. Before we do save a man, hold up and enter the pool. Now that George is dead, 
Well, it's cool. Hold A and B to swim to hit that corner at the top left. Banjo will face this way. This drains the water for the pig pool. Biggie. Speed this up here. After that's done, do a double jump up this slope and another one. Get up here. Go past the sign and do a jump into the lava. Take a better line to the tent and drop Saber Man off. There's an egg nest right there if you need it. Once the Jiggy spawns, just jump over the tent and uh, Death Warp in the lava. If you didn't do the damage slide off into the pipe, if you don't think you can do that, and you just like the walk off way, then take an extra hit in this lava here. But once you're done, get the Jiggy and Death Warp. Now that the door is open and we're done with the banjo stuff, switch back to Kazooie. Uh, break this box with the wing whack and cancel it. Get the claw clammers, tag that warp pad on the way out. And hold upright and C left and keep holding C left to turn the camera. Run up the wall. Jump off. Don't forget this treble clef. Remember what I said earlier in the train station about leg springs? This is one you kind of want to slide off the edge a bit for. We're gonna slide off the edge with leg spring. When we're at the peak, hold flutter for a bit and then wing whack to break the window. If you don't get it, just press Z to glide and you can hit it again if you miss. Uh, as a backup, so it should look like this. Uh, actually, before I go, I start the backflip from this like line here on the wall. This vertical line going up is where I like to do it. So right here, dash A. Get like four Kazooie noises and then press B. Take the flight pad up. Fly up here, beak bomb around the corner. Turn down, beak bomb to the warp pad so you bonk off the wall and hit the warp pad. Leg spring up to the top. Get on this window and press B. Break it. You'll fall in the loading zone. Do a big jump across for this jiggy. Flutter and death warp on this uh, bolt right here. After you're done with Kazooie, recombine, and we're gonna enter Toxic Waste. So roll up here, back up the ladder, the beak bust up there if you want, and ideally Talon Trot into the loading zone. You wanna be on blue eggs, because there is a Jinjo below us. We're gonna do an egg barge for. Then after you get that Jinjo, come over here for this note and this note. Um. Now, what we're uh, this guy so I can explain. So what we're gonna do? Ooh, I should give myself the gold feathers. <laughs> Actually, no, one is fine. Um. So what we're gonna do here? is we're going to do a gold feather off this edge, and once I get close to the green's um, toxic waste down there, I'm going to let go of Z, and this will dive me below the waste. You don't have to press it like at the last second, but press it somewhat far down the, the fall. Then we're going to mash B to swim, and mash C to get in Talon Torpedo to stay underwater. If you don't do this, it's going to kick you back up, and you're going to have to try again. And you can run out of gold feathers. Uh, if you do, just exit Toxic Waste, take these springy shoes back up, and there's feathers outside Toxic Waste. Um, so once we do that, uh, we're gonna do one A, A plus B stroke, and then let go. And we're gonna wanna be at this certain spot on the ground, and I'll explain what to do once we get there. So gold feather, let go, mash B, mash Z. Wait till the timer ticks to 19, by the way. Don't do it right away. One AB stroke, and you want to be to the left of, like, this vertical line to Banjo's right that's going um, on the floor. So around here is good. You want to wait till you're completely stopped, 
Enter first person and face this jiggy. This is the perfect position. If you come to a stop and you do an AB swim into it, you'll be at the right speed to hit the jiggy through the wall. Rotation doesn't matter. If you do it right, it works every time. So A and B, hit the jiggy. If you miss or in the wrong spot, just use A swim to get uh, back here. Try again. But once you have it, surface, up this ladder, switch to ice eggs. Um, if you don't, if you got this switch in JRL2 back then when I mentioned it, then just roll over here for this jiggy and egg barge it through the wall and leave. However, this is when we do the toxic waste shot I mentioned earlier. So if you're going to do that, uh, get in town shot. Jump over this pipe, hold C right the whole time. You want the camera all the way zoomed out. Hold C right, and the camera will lock here. Go against the wall beside the pipe. And then you're going to hold slightly back for two Kazooie noises, and then let go of the stick. Go like this. This is the perfect spot. Once you're here, go into first person, and just shoot at the side where the pipe meets the wall on this crack going up left to down right. Um, you don't want to shoot too high, or you can shoot over top of the, the like, I don't even know what to call it, the structure <laughs> that the switch is on. So ideally shoot more like down here is good. Uh, just keep going until you find the spot. Higher than that. Come on. It's not a like perfect spot to aim for this. I actually not not have walked back far enough. Might have let go too early. You want to react to the kazooie noises, not predict them. I might have just let go a bit early, so I'm gonna do it again. If you can't get a shot through, you're probably in the wrong spot because it's quite lenient. Okay, try again. That one's going through. Two testers. Use a clockwork. Get around this corner and blow up. If you don't go around that corner, the clockwork will not hit the switch. And the pig pool is done. Get this text with the jiggy. Get in Talon Trot and jump around this pipe. Switching the blue eggs. Egg barge this jiggy. Flutter and do a roll back flip up this ladder. Exit in Talon Trot here, and you're gonna slide off that slope we went on as Solo Banjo earlier. Um, I like to hold down until Kazooie starts going back on the slope, and then start holding C right, and then I do a jump onto the platform up left. If you get stuck, it's fine. You can go back in and try again, uh, like that. I just cut the corner a bit too tight. So ideally you jump over here. If you don't make it or you fall off, just roll back, flip beak bust over here. And then we're gonna go to the warp pad. Gonna be on blue eggs, turn around, reduce leg, and warp to the roof. From here, hold straight down, get this nest, take flight, go into first person and beak bomb down. Turn to your right and shoot an egg at this window and beak bomb in the window. Gonna be four bolts here. You're gonna wanna build drill each of these bolts to unscrew them. Um, after the first one, you wanna try and get on top of the second one and stay in the air. So after the cutscene, you can mash C to get a build drill right away. Uh, this actually doesn't work on the Japanese version of the game for some reason. I don't know why you don't keep the last position you were in before the cutscene started. So just a little optimization you can do here. So build drill. Get up here. Just mash Z after this cutscene. Build drill this one. Third one. After the fourth one, jump backwards. Towards the loading zone. 
platform will fall down for later. And flutter into the loading zone. Okay. Now we're going to take flight and use a few feathers up and aim at the smokestack on the right, which has a honeycomb. Uh, once you get high up enough, you want to beak bust uh, so that you land on the platform that the honeycomb's on. Kind of like this. That was good. Grab the honeycomb, jump off, zoom out, and have the camera facing this way. Jump off this, uh, off the roof or the outside and land down here. Try and get a talent shot into floor four as your camera is like that. Now we're gonna do quality control early. So start on blue eggs and see that box to the right of the door? Our goal is to line up Banjo with the corner of that box, and that's the position we're gonna be in. So, I'm heading for this corner right here. Zoom the camera in, slide up the slope so you get flat, and I'm on the, the corner of the box where the D in the in defective goods is. Um, there's a clockwork up here if you need it, or other eggs. Well, as a nest to the left behind me. And if you go into first person, you should see this angle. And this looks really good. You want a kind of line like this. If it's very smudgy, jump and move in the air slightly uh, to the right to see more of a clear crack. If you don't see any crack and you just see the wall covering it, move more to the left. Once you've found the spot, use tester eggs. Mine are going through until the crusher goes. The crusher, you can have angles that have all the eggs go through. Um, but ones when the crusher um, hits the ground don't. You can have angles the opposite where the eggs only go through when the crusher hits. You can have angles where eggs always go through. Ideally get an angle where eggs always go through, but I'll definitely use a few testers for this one to make sure that it is going to work. I have a bad angle. It's kind of hard to adjust for, and you can get bad angles like this that's very hard to get back to the right position you were in. If so, let's move a little bit over. It's too far. Uh, this should be good. There, once you find an angle like this where they're always going through, you're safe. And then exit, Talon Trot, exit first person, switch to grenade eggs, and now we're just gonna do a clockwork warp like normal. We'll poop the grenade egg, Talon Trot, first person. After the third bounce, shoot a clockwork, and it will go through. Or fourth bounce, rather. Now we're gonna shoot the barrels. This is very scary. Uh, you want to exit Talon Trot and come over here until you see Banjo. You want to be on Grenade Eggs. Uh, after the third green barrel... The, after the third barrel when you that you see when you enter, uh, it's going to be blue, and then the blue barrel is going to be every eight barrels. So, just count in your head, and then shoot. The last two, you want to move the cursor to the left, so you have more time to react and shoot when the cursor is over the seventh green barrel for the second last shot and shoot a little bit earlier than that for the last shot in order to get blue barrels if you hit a green barrel reset the console right away and come back here and try again it loses a ton of time but if you don't do that you have no way to get rid of the toxic gas and you're screwed so make sure to do that so, I'm just going to count in my head. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now they're going to move fast. They're going to be beside each other. Like that. This is very scary, and I recommend practicing this a lot. 
very easy to miss, and then if you do, you lose a ton of time at the end of the run. Um, this is, in my opinion, like the last really difficult thing before the end is quite easy, so definitely practice this a lot. Once you get it though, roll into the jiggy, backflip on the pad, and you can skip the pad and get up on this conveyor. Roll off and flutter, get in town shot, and try not to trigger that guy. Jump up these boxes in town trot and go through cable room. Ideally, you go straight forward, but if you have to go to the side, that is fine. Don't get hit by the wires, they'll hurt you. There's a nest to your left right here if you need it or anything. Um, if you're really low on ice eggs, you can get them if you're low on other testers. There's one more precise clockwork shot left in the run. Otherwise, come up here and just jump up these ramps. Get these clock climbers in the corner. And jump up this, this wall, jump off, cancel the shoes, and enter the sewer. Um, I refilled on grenades unnecessarily. Um, but actually, 11's about normal. Grab both these nests to be at maximum. And we're gonna enter Clinker's Cavern. Now, this route is very... It's not very straightforward. It's not as straightforward as Ordnance. The room is more crowded. And we're shooting very quickly at Clinker's on the walls. Um, I'm just gonna demonstrate it as you would see in a run. Uh, it's hard to follow along. But uh, there's a video that in the playlist that shows the route better for this, so I'm gonna show what it's supposed to look like. Um, do your best to copy it. This is quite a hard um, mini game. It's the hardest first-person section by far. Um, but yeah, there's not much to say. So here we go. First five clinkers, we're going to use blue eggs. After that, we're going to use grenade eggs. If you miss this one, don't go back for it. Get it at the end. There's an egg nest here if you need a clockwork or more ice eggs, you can grab that. Make note of that guy, he can get knock you off up there. Same with this guy here, likes to get in the way. There's a lot of clinkers that are in walls we shoot at the corners of to use the blast damage of the grenade to hit through the wall. Just aim about where I was aiming and you should hit them, no problem. If you miss the last one, shoot it here on the way out, and you're done with Clinker's Cavern. Hit the jiggy, and leave the sewer. Roll off this platform, and flutter this way, and jump on this switch to stop the crushers and use the conveyor to run backwards across the crusher room. And we're gonna warp to the roof again. This time holding up left, you wanna switch to blue eggs, or whatever you have for test, uh, whatever you have for test uh, testers, but to use for egg barges. Jump flutter off the side to land up here. There's a whole ramp down here, so it's not you don't have to jump in a very specific spot, but try to land by this door thingy here. There's a Jinjo in here, so just egg barge for that Jinjo. And you're gonna do a jump off this corner around the building, and then hold it and flutter onto the platform and enter the door. It looks scary, but it's really not that bad. So jump, flutter, enter floor three. Once you're in floor three, go up this ramp, cut this corner, 
and there will be two notes here. You can do a peck out of your jump for these, or if you don't feel confident with that, you can do a flutter beak bust. The peck is slightly faster, but either one works, so either that or this. Once you're across, you want to be on grenade eggs. I should have mentioned that earlier. Slide into this note, go into first person, aim it around the box. There's a honeycomb in it. You can see it rotating. Shoot the box and then move the cursor or the reticle above the box and flick up and shoot a clockwork to get it right away. So, like this. And explode the clockwork. Uh, do a big jump onto this box here. And then onto this one and jump around here to the split up pad and split up. Walk down here and there's a battery to the last. It's not the last battery we need, never mind. Second, the second battery we need. We'll whack him, put him in the bag. Activate this warp pad by Mumbo Skull and warp to floor two. up left and go through this uh, tunnel here hold straight up dump the battery off when you get out of the tunnel we'll reach into the electromagnetic chamber if the text the door will open we're not gonna go in there though instead we're gonna go on this pipe do double jumps across the pipe like so and take a hit off this battery and collect it. There we go. And we're gonna go into the toxic waste to death warp. Now this is the last battery we need. Uh, there's normally four in GI. We skip one on floor two that we're supposed to use to get into quality control. But with the quality control early trick I showed uh, just a little bit ago, we can skip that. Once you death warp, go down right. And go up the boxes, double jump up all these boxes, except this one. You have to ledge grab this one, so when you double jump, you'll grab that one, but... Skip the ledge grab from all the other boxes, and enter the boiler plant. Go towards... Oh, whoops, do not do that. <laughs> Goodness. Go towards the little particles that will appear, get close enough. And drop the battery off from here. Skip the text. And oh, make sure the particles are white. If they're colored, then you're not inside it. Make sure they change to white and press A. Switch to Kazooie. Now we're going to take Kazooie up there. First, leg spring up here for a globo. Leg spring up here. And one more time. Now we're going to do a leg spring, flutter, wing whack, glide reset, and flutter for this Jinjo that's up. Oops. It's Jinjo that is on top of the boiler plant here. You want to slide just a little bit off this platform, not very far. Like that. Wait for the Jinjo. And enter Twinklies. Um. Yeah, sure, we'll do Twinkly, why not? It's the last minigame. I can explain a few things. Uh, you need 40 points for this one. Uh, there's shoes at the back right, so deny the rules, get the shoes right away. The more Twinklies you have, the slower you move, so dump them off uh, periodically throughout the minigame when you start slowing down. So I'm getting a bit slow now, so I'm going to stop. Uh, you can dupe blue eggs in this minigame in the little chambers where you put the Twinklies in uh, after you get enough points if you need testers. If you're low on blue, fire, and ice eggs combined, uh, there's one more precise clockwork shot we're going to do. So if you have time left over, stand in here because this is where the Jiggy spawns. And then just dupe blue eggs.
Jiggy will spawn on you. Deny the rules, or not the rules, die playing again and just run straight down to leave. Once you leave, you can recombine with Banjo up here. Get in Talon Trot. And we're gonna unscrew this platform that just loaded in. Starting with this bolt first. Do the same thing I mentioned with the previous one where you do a big jump above the second bolt for the cutscene and then mash Z. Build drill the remaining two ones. And roll to the slope. The I guess the, the stairs over here. They're down and to the right. After the cutscene, get in the town trot. Up these stairs, cut this corner, cut this corner, and leave floor three. Uh, jump down the box. Uh, you want to land like on this green box and jump off here. Go, go to Mumbo's skull. Jump on the gray beam and you can just do a big jump into the loading zone. To skip that uh, platform. Talk to Mumbo. Same old, same old. Gonna use Mumbo for one last time. Alright. So once you leave Mumbo's skull, we're gonna take the warp pad here to floor two. Hold up left and jump as soon as the game loads and go through the tunnel that we went through earlier. But now we're gonna go into the electromagnetic chamber that we opened. So enter here. Go up this ramp. Hit the mumbo pad and face the camera towards the loading zone. This will disable the magnet so we can get the washing machine in here. After the cutscene's over, just hold up. Jump off. And leave the electromagnetic chamber. You have a timer, but it's extremely lenient, so don't even worry about it. Go back through the tunnel. We're just gonna backtrack to Mumbo's skull because it's faster than death warping. Nothing really convenient to death warp on, so. Just gonna warp back up. Hold upright this time to jump into the skull. Like so. Back to Banjo, leave Mumbo. I'm gonna warp to floor two again. It's a lot of back and forth here. And this time, hold up left and jump into the tent to get the washing machine from Wumba. The washing machine controls are very weird. They're quite slippery. Kinda like rotates around if you try and turn, so. Take a bit to get used to, but you want to jump for direction changes, but the jumps do cause smoke, so you don't want to be spamming jump. Um, but obviously you want to jump up slopes, like with Banjo-Kazooie, so... Get the washing machine and jump to turn around and leave. Hold left. Jump down here. Exit this, uh... Exit through this tunnel again. Back into the electromagnetic chamber. And now we can hit the big red switch to open the door to Weldar's room. So this signal is gonna go all the way to the basement. And open the door. There's unfortunately no way to skip this whole long sequence. It's just... Not- no- you can't clockwork warping because it's a boss area, so... Unfortunately we have to do this, but... Once you hit the switch... Turn around and exit the electromagnetic chamber. Fall off the platform down here. Jump up here. We're gonna exit the building. 
So break this box with Z to shoot out shorts. I should have mentioned that. You press Z to shoot them out. And we're gonna go down to floor one. This is the back door area. So we're gonna hit the switch to open the back door. And we're gonna jump out and leave the building. Jump over the railing, straight back, and then curve a little to the left. Come out, and there's a worker back here behind this bramble. Just walk up to him, he'll automatically talk to you, skip his text. I'm gonna clean five workers, so here's the first one. After you do him, turn around, zoom out, up, up here, up the slope, and back into the factory. Hold up left and go back the way we came to floor two. That switch we hit earlier is Solo Kazooie is what we're going to use now. Uh, we're going to go down this tunnel, which takes us to another worker right here. Just gonna speed this up. Uh, after him, jump down here, go up this tunnel, keep following it to your right and to your right once more to the elevator. Jump up into the elevator and warp to floor 5. Hold about down left-ish and turn the camera and the, wa the washing machine can go through these doors. Go up the slope and here's a third, uh, third worker. Did I say 5? There's actually uh, 6 bunnies. Give this text and use the tin top to damage yourself for this Jinjo. Sometimes he's closer than others, that's just random, can't control that. Mash A to warp to floor 1. The bolts we unscrewed earlier make this platform, so we can jump to this worker here. Oh, the other bolts made the mumbo pad drop down, so that's why we did both of those. Enter the workers' quarters and go up right into this room with the mumbo wall. For the fourth... Or fifth worker, excuse me. Uh, ideally take a hit like that with the electric damage off this tin top when you leave. You want to be taking damage um, anyway, but you don't have to go out of your way for it. Definitely try and get that one. Once you're done with these two workers, go down to floor three. Or move the cursor down to select floor three. Go, you went up the elevator, not down. Turn around. You can take hits off these guys if you want. But shoot another underwear to open this box. Enter the boiler plant. The sixth and last worker. Once you're done with him, get the jiggy. And we're gonna death warp off this guy. He's really far away. He's normally not this far away. We are done with the washing machine. We're almost done with the run, too. There's only one more thing left to do. So jump, hold up, and jump... And made to jump back in here, back in the Lumba, and go in the pool to detransform. Get in Talon Trot and leave Wumba. Pull off the sledge and take the warp pad to floor one. The first option so you can mash A. Run down right and hug this wall. You want to be on ice eggs if you have them, otherwise on blue or fire. Turn the camera R and zoom in. Get this note. And there's two setups for this trick. This is the 
one of a few parts of Weldar skip. This is the ladder shot to get the jiggy by the fan. Um, this is the la this is the last precise shot I was mentioning, and it is right before the end of the run. So, uh, one method is to cover the left rung with all of Banjo's hand like this, and then go into first person. This is a decent angle, not perfect, but that's that's workable. The other way is to hold C left and line up Banjo's backpack strap with the ladder rung a uh, little bit more over in the middle, like that. This is good. Either way you prefer, look up to this white uh, rung here. You're going to want to aim with a somewhat thin line like this at this corner, slightly down from where the top part of the light uh, rung meets this black line above it. So around here. A bit more to the left. This should go through. Yeah. This is going through. If you aim too high, uh, you can miss the jiggy. And even if you get a shot lined up, going up and down won't necessarily have the eggs go through. So if you, the height is wrong, you need to aim lower for this spot. Uh, reuse testers for this spot, and if they don't work, you're gonna have to find the spot again. So just make note of that. Once you find it, use two testers, switch to clockwork, and get the jiggy and blow up. This should be the 90th. I, should be your 90th. I just have skipped jiggies, some mini games, so I'm 10 down, but that would be the 90th. This is your last note nest over here. Go up this ladder, jump flutter up here, and enter the repair depot. Now, this is the final barrier of the run right here. We need to get that Cheeto page across this spinning roller, and then we are done. That is the last collectible of the run, and that's where time is. So, there's a fast way to do this and a slow way to do this. As a beginner, I'd recommend holding R and zooming in, moving forward until the camera uh, gets like this, and then do full jumps straight forward. When you land, jump immediately and do a keep doing full jumps straight forward you're gonna be pushed to the left if your jump is a little bit late and adjust to the right accordingly because the it's rotating from right to left uh counterclockwise so you have to keep adjusting right in order to not fall off and to give yourself more time to jump so you can either set the camera up like this or just hold down right, down left and R and zoom in and jump. Do the first jump kind of blind, but it's not that hard uh, to do it like that as well. But I still recommend this as a new player. If you miss, if you fall off, save and quit and come back and try again. It's faster than fighting Weldar. Weldar is also quite a complicated and involved fight that's kind of scary to do fast. So uh, just try again if you're at the edge you can try doing flutter beak bus onto the roller all the way to the end and then try and get a backflip off to ledge grab and pull yourself up beside the cheeto page i've seen it before i've seen people go all the way across like that it can be done don't give up until you've completely fallen off so here we go jump I got a few bad jumps there, but I adjusted back accordingly. Um, another thing, my timing for this is when Banjo jumps, you can see his toes like that, his feet like go down, and then when he falls back, they like flick back up. I use that flick to know when to press the A button. When I see them go back, is I wait like the smallest amount of time, and then I press A again. So. I showed the easy way, I'm going to show the optimal way that just runs instantly, and then we're going to grab the Cheeto page, and we're going to be done.
can peck if you have to. And if you view totals, besides the Jiggies and Cheeto pages that I skipped, we have everything else. So what it should say is 90 Jiggies, 25 Honeycombs, 24 Cheeto pages. So we're just missing 10 Jiggies and 3 Cheeto pages, all of which are from mini games. 17 Globos, which is correct. 900 Notes is correct. 45 Jinjos and 24 Jam Jars moves. So, keeping aside the mini games I skipped, that is 100%, and touching that Cheeto is time. That is the end of the run. That is the end of this tutorial and this series. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, I highly recommend joining the Banjo Discord if you want to learn this game. Um, there's tons of people who can help you out with learning uh, any kind of questions about the run. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to do that, you can leave questions in the comments and I will answer them. But uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful to anyone either learning for the first time or wanting to up their game, learn things they never learned before and get better to improve their time. Um, I don't really have much else more to say. It's a fun run. It's quite a long one, but it is very enjoyable to watch and very satisfying to run. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm done here. Uh, highly recommend this speed game. It's a little, uh, little bit cutscene heavy, but if you can put up with that, I think it's well worth learning this run. So with that, I am done. Thank you, thank you everyone for watching. Bye.